I grew up on an island in the Gulf of Mexico with about 550 houses. It was the best experience of my life. Everybody on the island was very family family. Uh, they used to do uh, all kinds of events every holiday. They always got together. There was a park in the middle of the island. <clears throat> and uh, they'd have Easter egg hunts. And for Halloween, they would set up tents. You go in there and you feel eyeballs, which were uh, skinned grapes. And you'd feel brains, which were spaghetti. And uh, oh, Christmas, my next door neighbor used to have the best Christmas parties. I'd go over and hang out with him. Uh, let's see here. What else? Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving. I guess those were the main holidays. You know, everything else we just spent with uh, neighbors for uh, New Year's Eve or something like that. But trick-or-treating on this island was just the best. It was. We were very fortunate to live in that affluent neighborhood. We rented. We didn't own and my mom was very smart in being able to locate that area and be able to, to get us in there. And one of my best memories is of how generous the neighborhood was when it came to giving candy. And there was one house that was, it, it, it's, to this day, I still remember it. It was on the other side of the island on... Uh, this uh, this horseshoe in the uh, back left corner, two story. We walked up these great big steps. It was on the water, and they left a sign there that said, "Please take one," because uh, they're gone. They're at a party or something, and we ransacked it. Oh my god, we! I was just trying to give me. Everybody just went for a mad dash on it. We just so happened to show up at the right time, and I got. Um, some of the icy flavor pops or whatever and that was mostly what i got because everybody else grabbed everything else and then it got to the point where we're walking around and people are getting thirsty and now they're wanting to trade me uh, or they're wanting me to give them my flavor ices because it's the only liquid thing we have on us and we're all the way on the other side of the island it's a long walk and the park is far away before we can get water and uh, I said, man, I'm not giving you anything, they trade me. And there was only a few people that traded me. Uh, most people said, forget that, you know. <laughs> I'm not giving up my candy. I'll go get water. But they kept bugging me, trying me to get me to give in. I'm like, no, because uh, you guys got all the candy. Why am I going to give you this? Uh, but I did get some. And uh, I did that to another one on the corner where they had left a bunch of candy out. And I just undid the whole bowl. I walked up. For some reason, I was trick-or-treating by myself. My sister wasn't there. Uh, it was just me, my mom, and my dad. Uh, I don't know where Heather was at, why she wasn't trick-or-treating. Like maybe she just got too old for it. And uh, my dad wouldn't let me just grab all the candy and throw it in the pillow sack. Uh, and my mom's like, Marcus, you like, let him do it, you know. And uh, he's like, he finally gave me. He's like, fine, whatever. So I went back up there and just took all the candy and showed it in my sack. Uh, that was wrong, it, uh, but I sure did enjoy it, um, and uh, my dad was actually right in that instance, uh, but he caved, <laughs> he gave in, uh, but this year, I get to be that house, I'm not leaving this stuff out, uh, I've done quality control on all these, where I've tested each one of these to make sure that, you know, they're, they're good enough to be handed out, you know, and and I cut them open real close and on the back so that I can tape these on the front door. And then, you know, I can just ask them, you know, which one do they want? And uh, the, the adults will get, like, a pick of one of these little ones or something. Uh, the adults don't really get too much candy. Uh, I, uh, I had a bunch of these last year. And uh, I had a lot of kids. So I'm thinking word might get around and there'll be a bunch more. And if not word will probably get around for next year uh, and uh, somehow somebody got into this right here and they stole a Snickers 
So I'm missing two because I got one, but I did a count and I'm uh, missing them. And I accidentally ordered one too many Twix, uh, which was unfortunate because I would have ordered like a crunch or something if that was the case. Uh, so I am prepared this year. I'm going to be handing out candy galore and I'm interested to see which one of these is going to go away first. Seeing how there's twice as many Twix, I don't think that'll go. I think the favorites are probably going to be Snickers and Reese's and maybe Kit Kats. I don't know how much kids like Butterfingers now. They probably don't even know what a whatchamacallit is. Uh, that came out when I was a little kid, I'm pretty sure. You know, what should we call it? The commercials. Uh, that's one of my favorites. And the Crunch. And I didn't get Crunch because I just wanted six. I was going to have two rows of three taped up on the door. And like I said, I accidentally got him. So, but that is going to be the candy for this year. I think I'll take a picture of this at like two megapixels and this will be the thumbnail for the video. Or maybe this will automatically be the thumbnail, who knows.